Here we go, guys. Let's get a look at my first gold wing. 84. Honda gold wing. This is the first year of the 1200. If I remember correctly, this boxer engine is putting out 92, 94 horsepower, something like that. It is a 1200, as I said already. Um, we're just going to go around it and see what's here. I do have a key for it, but I don't know what's going to do for me since uh, we're missing a lot of parts. So let's first look at the gas, gas system. All right, we have a gas tank. That's about 5.8 gallons, I believe. Now, by looking at it, I looked up how many gallons it was. All right, so gas tank. Look at that beast. That's the whole center of the bike. And they can do that because the engine is flat and way down here. So they have room to do one central gas tank. All right, we're going to follow the gas line comes out I guess on the other side but here is a fuel filter and comes into the fuel pump so yeah I guess it comes out on the other side we still have the gas tank into the gas line into the fuel pump fuel pump power goes up here yeah, let's finish this. Fuel pump goes in here and out here to the carburetors. Here are the carburetors. We still have those. Two on this side, two on the other side. Air box should be buried in the middle. Not sure where the intake for that is, but be buried maybe that's the air intake well, that's loose I don't know there's some fuse I don't know where that's supposed to be let's see bleather ble bleather hey that is the intake here's an air filter it's a little gunky in there Okay, that's a huge air filter. So there, that system's all together. So, technically, that could run. Sure. All right, well, let's do a quick check of where that gas line comes out. Gas line, oh, right here. Okay, so fuel tank, fuel shut off, you've got on and off on and off and it is currently off okay so that's gonna run right there into the fuel filter sitting there over to the fuel pump okay so that is complete next thing let's do an easy one let's do brakes brakes all right when you hit the brakes you pull, okay, if we do brakes, well, unfortunately, when you need to use the brakes, you have a lever, which is missing. <laughs> so, uh, we're already behind the game there. Let's see, here is the brake line for the front. So, brake line goes down, you can follow it down here and it is into the caliper so we have good brake there double piston and the rotor on both sides so other than not having a brake lever the rest is there same problem back here <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't have a brake pedal but brake uh, light, you can follow that. Now, when the brake pedal is pushed, this is your brake light. Brake light switch into the wiring 
and then uh, uh, I put the seat on. I did not have a seat, but I bought it, and uh, there it is. So the only problem with the uh, brake light is it's not there. So the wiring's there until we don't have a brake light. And as far as braking from beyond, uh, I don't see a wire, but I'm sure it's there somewhere. And then we do have a single disc and the piston. And there is our brake hose. And that follows up through, and I'm sure it's in there. Okay, so we can't use the brakes either. Uh, let's do electrical. No battery. So we're starting behind the game with that. Okay, well, there's our pa positive lead. Here is our starter. It's the old school fuse. So that's pretty cool with the little wishbone. So if we had a battery, let me show you that if I can. It's kind of hard to get off sometimes. If we had a battery, we could potentially start this bike. Um, we do have a start button and engine on off. So potentially that system is intact. We do have a key and we do have the ignition. So that's good. Although, here we have our negative battery terminal, which uh, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> so, all right, so we can't start the bike because the negative system side of the electrical system is cut off all right what else we got clutch so hydraulic clutch oh I, I failed to mention we don't have a master cylinder for the front so that is missing also master cylinder on the rear I did not see that okay so that's not gonna work then Brakes are not going to work. Clutch. Clutch is missing. <laughs> clutch pedal or uh, clutch lever is missing. But we do have clutch hose. Now, clutch is buried. Clutch is buried down in here. You can see right in there. Oh, I said it. I didn't say it, as you can see. All right. There, you can see the cirque there. That is where you would bleed. It's a bleeder. So the clutch is there, except you can't, you can't build pressure because there's no master cylinder there, and there's no lever. But clutch right there on the engine. So I guess beyond that, there's your, there's your, I'm sorry. Right in there, that is your slave cylinder for your clutch. And then that would be your clutch. I guess the clutch would be on the front. I don't know. I'd have to take the engine apart to look at it. One more, one more thing to mention with the uh alternator this is the alternator i believe uh wires go in right there and they come out to here and uh three yellow wires go into this connector and would you look at that the good old three wire burn up problem so I'll tell you, this bike was not charging. A lot of times the old Hondas is what you do is you remove this and hardwire the three wires. Doesn't matter which order they go in as long as one wire goes to each one. But this is very typical on the old Hondas. Those wires are gonna burn up 
because this is just not strong enough to take the current coming out of this beast. So this would charge the system and send uh, power back to your battery, which is not there. So, okay. Systems other than that is exhaust. Exhaust into headers, into the engine. We got that. And then there's your uh, valve cover and your header and your spark plugs, spark plug wires. They are all there intact. I think this is a speaker wire. Obviously, that's not getting us anywhere because we have no fairings. Here is your Speedo cable. <laughs> These beautiful shocks. There's the one piece of bodywork that I have left. Tires are okay. Oil filter is there. We're gonna have a problem running this engine without. Now, I do have the cylinder. Let's see. I do have the header, but we don't have the cover. But here is the spark plug wire on this side. And then. Here's your shaft drive. Everything looks really clean. The shaft drive runs straight back to the rear wheel hub. And an okay tire back there. Hey, there is the brake master cylinder for the rear. And there's a lanternfly. Hmm. I think I killed him. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess the one last thing that we need to go over is the muffler on this side. The muffler on this side has a weird bubblegum patch or something. And then we lose it there because there's no header pipes. Alright. Well, I think that about covers it. We did the gas system. Electrical's gone from the battery to the headlights and the lights and everything. Now if you need any parts, let me know. Shocks are good. And uh, yeah, handlebars, controls. We do have, these are really nice. Huh. Except for the radio. Cool. High low lights, horn. I bet all this works just fine. Yeah, mute. Cool, I can listen to the radio. And over here, this looks like cruise control. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed walking around this Honda Shet Honda Goldwing, sorry. 84, Honda Goldwing 1200. The GL 1200 Interstate. If you uh, want to see more of it, let me know what you want. Comment down there. Let me know what you need, or just let me know you're here. Let me know you're watching, and uh, we'll get into the next one. Have a great day. Bye.